God speaks through a deep impression in our spirits. Oh, hi there. Welcome to School of the Spirit. Um, we've been discussing on this platform matters that are interestingly essential uh, in a believer's journey in the realm of the Spirit. Uh, I believe that our work with God as believers uh, to a large extent is discovery in nature uh, by the help of the Holy Spirit as we journey through the realm of the Spirit, knowing God, there are a lot of things that we will get to discover. So it is an adventurous walk. And because of that, there are so many things that as we discover through the wisdom of the Spirit, we're able to identify, we're able to label and uh, articulate. And uh, some of these things become uh, they become roadmarks, they become uh, landmarks that we can help to understand, that can help us to understand the path of the spirit that we take, which is essential for our growth and our maturity. Because the thing about the knowledge of God is, it is what you know, um, what you discover and what you know that you transform into, that you become. You, you will take the form of the knowledge that you encounter, that you experience. And of course, you know, the knowledge of the Spirit always um, graduates to an experiential state. And so we've been discussing all of this. Um, we started from the first episode talking about spiritual summons and then about boardings of the spirit. Now we want to talk about impressions. And I'd like you to know that this particular video is unscripted, okay? I decided it to be so because it's going to be short, but it's going to be more practical, uh, trying to deal with some of the things that we will practically engage or encounter as we work with God in terms of communication and interaction. So this is totally unscripted. Now, um, I first of all, like to define what an impression is or help us to see the meaning of an impression from uh, the dictionary standpoint before we talk about it in details as to um, how we encounter the experience of this word in our journey with God in the realm of the Spirit. So let's look at the meaning of the word impressions from the dictionary. One meaning says a vague idea in which some confidence is placed. A vague idea in which some confidence is placed. Somebody introduce an idea that um, becomes the basis for other people's confidence. It's called impression. Another meaning is a clear and telling mental image. So it's, it has to do with an image now that is formed in the mind of a person. Impression also means an outward appearance. As they say, first impression matters a lot. So an outer appearance that is portrayed. But more importantly, I'd like you to listen to this meaning. It is the act of pressing one thing. The act of pressing one thing on or into the surface of another. The act of pressing one thing on or into the surface of another. So it's more like a stamp. Um, when you look at a stamp, um, 
there is an artistic work on it and then when you press it on the stamp pad where the ink is and the ink comes on the work of art that has been done on the stamp once you place that stamp on the paper and press it you are going to have what we call an impression of the original artistic work that was done on the stamp so it's pressing one thing or an the image of a thing on another and i said that god speaks through a deep impression in our spirits so here is how it happens uh, god gives you a a visionary expression he gives you an image let's use the word image he impresses an image on the eyes of your spirit for you to see and he keeps that image before your vision so that as you keep looking at it uh, you begin to analyze it and by the help of the Holy Spirit, come into the understanding of what you are seeing. So that's why we call it impressions. Now, of course, um, experientially, it's important to note that the eyes of your spirit is the part of your mind that we call your imaginations. You know, man is made up of spirit, soul, and body. Your spirit is the life component of your being is the life force of your being. When you become born again, your spirit, your human spirit has been recreated in Christ Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Your, the Holy Spirit and your spirit becomes one. That means you now carry the intelligence of God in you as a force, as a life force. Because the Spirit of God has been born in your spirit. And then your soul is made up of three components. Your mind, which is where your thoughts and imaginations are. Your emotions, which is where your feelings are. And your will, which is the decision-making part of your soul. So obviously, your mind, which is where your thoughts are, affects how you feel, which is your emotions, and then your feelings. Um, influence your judgment so the mind has two components there is the aspect of thought which does a lot of analysis is connected to logic and then there is the aspect of your imagination which deals with images visual expressions and most often we try to understand things by having a mental picture of it so if god wants to introduce a reality in the realm of the spirit because you know the realm of the spirit is a realm filled with reality if god wants to introduce a reality to you he impresses an image of it in your imaginations so you see it but then you need to keep looking at it Keep looking at the image that is right in front of you and then the Spirit of God brings you into the understanding. This is what Paul meant when he said in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 18 that the eyes of your understanding, which is your imagination, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Being enlightened means that you are able to understand or comprehend the reality of the image that has been impressed on your mind. Now in John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1 verse 1, I'd like you to listen to what John the Apostle said. You know, John the Apostle was a man that was so blessed in the area of visions. He had a lot of encounters with the Lord, you see in the book of Revelations. And um, because of his prophetic experiences, uh, there are a thing or two we can learn from him. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 1, he says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled. So it gives you four stages of interaction 
with reality in the realm of the spirit. That which we have heard from the beginning, which we have seen, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled. That speaks of the tangibility of the image that is before you. So you hear it in your spirit and then it translates into an image that is formed, that is impressed on your mind. So for you to see it, and as you keep, as you see it, you keep looking at it because it is in looking that we understand what we see. Just like it is in continuous hearing that we gain understanding. Or I'll, I'll, I'll have to say that the difference, there's a difference between hearing and listening. Listening is hearing with understanding. The same way it is that when you keep looking at something, looking at something is seen with understanding. Being able to perceive, to unravel um, what is placed before you. So these are stages of interaction in the realm of the spirit. And most often, your work with God will be clustered with a lot of visual impressions because God is introducing you to a realm of reality. This is a realm that contains um, civilizations. It contains um, locations. It contains beings. There are people, beings in this realm. There are things. Everything about the realm of the spirit is a reality to be understood. Everything about God revealed because God is spirit are realities that should be unraveled and understood. For instance, the names of God in, in trying to communicate the character of God God may give you visual impressions of one of his names. And as you keep looking at it, the Spirit of God supplies understanding. In other words, he enlightens your mind, your imagination. He gives you the ability to comprehend the image that is in front of you. So if you've been experiencing this, um, your experiences are not vague or they are not... Um, where this is actually the norm in the school of the spirit. And um, we're going to do another video where we'll, we'll go into the practicality of uh, visual impressions, how to understand what is impressed on your mind by the realm of the spirit, how to gain understanding when you see something, and then we are going to talk about perspectives, how that one image can reveal myriads of information. And all that God will need to do is introduce you to different perspectives of the same thing he has shown you so that you can be introduced into different levels of truths and understanding because this is important for your knowledge and for your transformation um, as a student of the School of the Spirit. Thank you so much for joining in. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Mm -hmm.